growing calls for Attorney General William Barr's resignation. This comes after Barr ordered a review in the criminal case of President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, who pled guilty to lying to the FBI. Democratic lawmakers are calling Barr's actions unprecedented and say it's setting a dangerous path for the Justice Department as the decision triggers more accusations of political interference from President Trump. The announcement came as the Justice Department also said Friday that it was dropping its criminal investigation of former Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe, a frequent target of the president. Weijia Jiang is traveling with President Trump and joins us from West Palm Beach, Florida. Weijia, good morning. Good morning, Dana, and good morning to everybody. Despite Attorney General William Barr's insistence that he and the DOJ act independently, he has been accused of carrying water for President Trump by launching investigations just to please the president, like looking into the origins of the Russia probe and reviewing evidence collected by Rudy Giuliani in Ukraine. And this morning, there are new questions involving a case with the president's first national security advisor. President Trump avoided reporters on his way to Florida as more questions mount about Michael Flynn, someone he has often defended. They ought to be ashamed of themselves, what they've done to General Flynn. Why Attorney General William Barr's decision to review the criminal case against Flynn, Mr. Trump's first national security advisor, could be viewed as a favor. Senior Justice Department officials reportedly pushed for a lighter sentence for Flynn than prosecutors originally asked for. Exactly what happened in the case of Roger Stone. The president has never asked me to do anything in a criminal case. Barr insists he and President Trump did not talk about a sentence for Stone, a longtime friend of Mr. Trump's. In the same interview, Barr revealed the president's tweets interfere with his work. To have public statements and tweets made about the department, uh, about uh, our people in the department, our, our men and women here, about cases pending in the department, and about judges before whom we have cases. Uh, make it impossible uh, for me to do my job. CBS News has learned that Barr privately expressed his frustration to President Trump for weeks, but a defiant yeah, president right. tweeted he has every legal right to weigh in on criminal cases. In a blow to Mr. Trump, federal prosecutors announced they would not pursue criminal charges against former acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe, who authorized the Russia investigation. The DOJ was looking into whether McCabe so lied about allowing other FBI officials to talk to reporters in 2016. McCabe is one of President Trump's go-to targets and believes that's why he was being investigated at all. The pursuit of political enemies and the use of the criminal justice system and criminal investigations to exact some sort of revenge on those political enemies is not something that should be happening in the United States of America. CBS News has learned President Trump was not happy about the Justice Department's decision not to charge McCabe. The president also tweeted that the four person in that Roger Stone case showed bias, which may have prompted Stone to once again ask the court to grant him a new trial. Jeff. We just thank you very much.